Okay, it's 10, 16 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday, February 3rd. Now, I told you before my last video what was going on. Now, Operation Theft. There you go. They brought it down. Let's see what they brought it down to. You can see when they do a, a move like this, they brought it down to 3248. So you can see, you know, I keep telling you what's true. They're, they're playing people, manipulating the market left and right, up and down. Uh, right now you can see where, where's the, the kettling wall on top. You know, the, the manipulating kettling wall is closer to the epicenter. It's been lowered in price. Yeah, the depth continues. No slacking, nothing. Totally predictable now. Okay? Totally predictable. 6 p.m. I don't know what else you guys got to see. 6, 6 a.m., 6 p.m. down. Right? 6 a.m. around there, so start going back up. 6 p.m. up. The tits were pop. Six, six, all sixes, you know, cycling through at six o'clock at a six a.m. and six p.m. This is a bot. It's it's been put up here to manipulate. The bots using these uh, uh, incredibly uh, large, the largest sell and buy wall in the uh, open observable uh, order book. You know, the exposed order book where you could actually just move through the book like this by scrolling. That you can see right away what's going on. This isn't new. This isn't anything fancy. You know, this isn't rocket science. What's going on here? And then they, they and then they do the dump. You know, it's business as usual. Look, what's the only the only way you could see that they're gonna um raise this price again? Is if the top wall at 33.45 on the sell side goes up in price. If they don't remove the cap, you see, and then they put pressure on this market, just think of it as an accordion laying on its side. They want it to go down. This is the end of the accordion. They insert the pressure down. The market goes down. And then for the other side too, buy. They push it up. Up the market goes. These guys are criminals, and they're not going to stop. I can tell you that right now. One, two. Now, let's. If you want to see what's going to happen in the future, you go back to the past. It's a very simple thing. Which in this case is let's go over to the left. There you go. Same exact thing. Look. You see? It's not like they haven't manipulated this down the same way before. That's why you call it. You see the same pattern. One, two. I don't know what else to say, people, but, you know, this thievery, huh? It's theft. It's theft. When I can sit here and tell you what's going to happen, right, and the times it's going to happen, it's because I've watched what the manipulator's been doing, and he's a creature of habit. It's very easy to see the pattern. It's very easy. This is not rocket science. What he's doing is manipulating his, his walls to create the false illusion of a pump. Then he dumps on you using the same wall. He gets you all excited, your feelings get involved, you come in and you start buying, and then he just comes and slaughters you. Now he triggered all your stop losses. I'm pretty sure people who bought in this rush up bought all along this line. Now he liquidated you all. Every single one of you. Plus some of you has bought over here. You've been liquidated if you had a stop loss. They liquidated everything that you bought over 32 49 if you had a stop loss since February, the beginning of the month. Operation Con Base.
can't make money charging fees to people, new people coming in the market. Manipulate your market so the people that are still in it can be manipulated out of their money. That's all it is. And they're going to dump it some more. You can see how many waves of red they use to get it down. One, approximately three. One, two, three. Eh, this is what scum, scum, scum does. I still say now that they don't want to remove these kettle and wool trades out of the book. Coinbase is, has ownership of them so, somehow, some way. Because I've been telling them about them, and it's very easy to go in and say, hey, you're manipulating our book. You're causing problems with their other clients. You don't trade here no more. And they just close your account. They've done it to other people, but not this person in particular, because I think in some significant way, Coinbase has a connection to them. How, how, look at this. Openly manipulate the market using the two largest buy and uh, the two largest walls are buying and sell. Both of the same market price, market size, so they get dispel that they're manipulating the volume. This is a, uh, uh, this is so easy to see, man. Look at this. Closer to the epicenter, pressure on the on the sell side. Look at this. You see it. Oh my God! They all dump and look. He's got a huge order for three thousand. You guys go out and sell. What a disgrace. Now it just takes me ten. I'm so used to this, I used to have to take 20 minutes to explain these videos. Now, if you notice, they're taking me 10 minutes. I'm just getting better. This is so predictable. The programming that's involved here is predictable. This is AI designed to build other traders out of money. To work against the market. And, and when they work against the market, they steal money from you. It's that simple. Now the young man who told me they broke 32. You see, I've been telling you, no, no, it's going to go back down. They're close to 32. They're only 20 cents away. Matter of fact, they did hit 32. Let's let's not uh, forget that this went down before it bent back up. See, 32.47. They wiped out all the gains from February 1st. Wiped them all out successfully. Now we're back up to here. Will they stop? No, I don't think so. Because they never done before. Now they achieved a new low, you see? They achieved a new low. During... Uh, today it might go back up. The only way that uh, we can actually gain something out of this, there's got to be somebody who's going to invest in Litecoin with lots of cash, and they need to go right to the. They need to go through these uh, cell walls, and even and, and I think even that might not be good enough, because what's going to happen is that sooner or later, as that bull momentum runs out. See, what, what's happening here, you, you own these walls. You see, he moved it up in higher price. Now watch what happens to the, the candlestick. The red's going to retract. He moved the, the, to, to, it up to a higher price. See? Now you're going to start seeing more green. It's that, it's that simple. He's using these two walls. He's moving them up and down. 
the scales here up and down in the price and he's tilted it's like a scale you see you can also think of it that way if you turn it on its side a scale he puts pressure on one side by, by you know approaching this to the epicenter pushing this up putting more weight on it you see he tilts the scale to go up he puts more weight on this side causing the price to go down get it to scale Now the price is going to start to go up because he relieved the pressure using this large wall he has in the exposed order book. This is crime. This is just so easy to see. It's ridiculous, man. Most people, if you, you see, uh, I, I, it, it, I didn't figure this out overnight, okay? I knew there was some kind of manipulation going on. And it took me, it did take me a while to, to figure it out and trace it. But that's what I've been, I, I've been doing all my life as a consultant and working for the Fortune 500 companies is to figure out problems, to, to, to find proof, to see what's going on, to figure out where is the water running when it's running out of the tub, okay? Where's the crack? W what's causing this? That, that's what I am. I'm in, in risk management. Okay, what's the behaviors of the market? What's going on in the order book? That's all I was ever paid for. What's going on in the army account? How come money isn't going to A and B? Where is it falling through? Did somebody use the wrong account number? Did they move the money someplace else? Investigate. Who moved the money? Why'd you move the money? That was my job. Well, how come it's in the wrong account? How come you paid this client twice? Now the client left with the money. And he won't give back what he was paid twice. How come you paid him twice? Do you have any affiliation with that client? That was my job for years. This market will never be a fair and balanced market if there is manipulation, kettle and walls in the book. I don't care what excuse Coinbase has. I, sometimes... Behind closed doors, you'll hear, well, if we don't put up those kettle and walls, we won't be in sync with the market. No, you won't be in sync with the market because you are a smaller volume, uh, a smaller volume exchange, right? And if people are over here driving up the price, you have to let it be regardless if it's, it's uh, within the market average or not, okay? If this is $500 because people are over here buying it, and this exchange, and your uh, and they, they increase the volume, and it goes up to 500, and you feel it's out of whack with the rest of the market, I'm sorry, you, you have no legal ob obligation to go in there and mess and screw the market down what you feel is the price it should be. I don't care if you own the exchange or not. And I think that's what it is. A lot of these exchanges are doing, like they all talk to each other, well, we're going to keep the price though. Yeah, yeah. Well, how are, you, how are you going to control yours? Your people are buying and they're not stopping in the United States. The United States, which has, which has most of the global wealth, people are, are going to tend to go to the exchange that's in their country. And if they start buying because they have more disposable income, it's quite obvious that the coin should go up in price. But these guys, I think on the global scale, they, 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 these charlatans, they turn around and make promises to each other. So each exchange is on a... a of uh, uh, the same market value that they would actually manipulate their own books. That's what I honestly think. Now today, I'm hoping Litecoin in the next couple of days to be in the number four spot and then keep rising. That's what we're looking for in Litecoin. We at least got to see it take fourth place, if not third or second. Because EOS, I don't know. I don't. I don't have no interest in EOS. Litecoin has been around a lot longer. Uh, the coin, 
the coin functions fast. When you transfer, like, uh, from an exchange to, say, an Exodus wallet, it happens blindingly fast compared to Bitcoin. Bitcoin, you could be standing there, you'll, you'll, you'll <laughs> be retired by the time, time you get your Bitcoin. Litecoin moves fast, lightning fast, lightning won't work, okay? Litecoin doesn't have any of the drama of all of those uh, splinter cells coming uh, from the board of Coinbase going off and making their own coin. Uh, you don't have a hash nest or Bitmain. They, they run on uh, Bitcoin Cash now. They splint it off. You don't have how many Bitcoins now? Let's see. You got the original. You got Bitcoin Cash. You got Bitcoin SV. How many more Bitcoins do we got? Let's take a look. Bitcoin Gold. Bitcoin Diamond. And there's probably more that that are probably not in the top 100. Bitcoin private. There's only one Litecoin. There's no drama. They tell you what's going on. They tell you uh, it doesn't get imp when it gets implemented, it works. Okay, you have no problems as of yet. Litecoin is everything Bitcoin strive to be, and and Bitcoin failed to be. So Litecoin. When they say it's the right coin, it's because they deliver. This coin is extremely undervalued. And a lot of it has to do with some of the maneuvers its Litecoin's uh, owner has done and this exchange has done. In other words, they maneuvered the price of the coin around to enrich themselves at the cost of others. But the technology is sound. I think this is the best one that's out there so far. It does what it's supposed to do. Quick transactions, minimum fees, updates go smooth, and there's no splinter cells within the Litecoin board. They're going to run off and create Litecoin Cash, Litecoin SV, Litecoin Diamond. There's no confusion or strife. All right, people, let me put this up.